Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how I fix the user account change password issue. Normally we have a client, the user password is you know compromised and the administrator changed the password. Now they want the user to ch to change his own password to his you know, but the user can't change it. When the for example, if I'm the user. Linda Smith, if I, so for example, if I go to the domain controller, I go to the net user, Linda Smith. So Linda Smith is changed the password today at 6.54. And now user wants, you know, user wants to change the password to himself's password. So if I log into the computer as Linda Smith, so change password. So Linda Smith, I put the new old password. We okay, get this one an error message says unable to update the password the value provided for the new password does not meet the length complexity and history requirements of the domain. I already put the you know type characters you know locus upcase and special word character, but I still get this error. So if I go to the Go to the domain controller again. In the domain controller, if I check the group policy, so in the default domain policy, if I go to the settings, Show all.
just uh, do the one I just select this one to zero I just untick the enforce password minimum password age I click OK so if I click properties again so I don't select the minimum password age for this policy because the, uh, the default group policy is already set at zero days. I want to use to change password every time every every time. So I just uh, untick this one and then I click just cancel this one. Now if I go to the computer. I want to change password again. Login. So you see, I can change the password now. So just uh, you know, summarize because you know, you also can't change the password even this group policy. You know, the even the default domain group policy is already set a minimum minimum password age to zero days. Still, you also can't change because of the you know the settings in the this one the. Active Directory Administrative Center, then password setting container has a uh, enforced password policy here. Normally, this one is applied to the group. Just, uh, you know, I just simulated this issue for this, you know, customer because they set up a security group and apply this one to the security group and set in the set the, this one enforced. When you select the enforce minimum password age, this one needs to be at least one day. So you can't put zero days here. So it needs to be at least one day. So this means you also need to wait for one day to you know to change the password. If you don't want to set a minimum page, you just untick this one. That's what I show you today. And the other one I can think, you know, is if you wanted to change the password, you know, for this user to bypass the group policy or this policy you can just go the other way is to go to the user properties and then you change the account go to the account tab and it says tick this box user must change password the next logon if you click apply for example I just click OK then if I go to the computer I sign out And then I sign in. So you see, after I tick the box in the Active Directory users and the computers user properties, then it will prompt the user to change the password. The next logon, and then I click OK. Then I can change the password. Yeah, just two ways, you know, I show you one is, you know, go to the, go to the user properties and go to the account to tick the box, user must change password. The other one is to check the group policy, the, you know, the default domain policies, check the minimum password age, and also you need to check this one here, Active Directory 
administrative center, then system domain, system password settings container, and to see if there's an enforced password policy setup. Because if there's an enforced password policy setup, this will be at least one day. Then user needs to wait for one day to change the password. That's all I show you today. Thank you.